What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a Sylvester Stallone card pack review breakdown. Ready for action back in the game? No, I joke, I joke. Listen, uh, it is interesting that they're choosing these cards as nominating contracts because I would say that they're pretty bad starter cards for anyone that knew is going to be downloading the game, right? But there are a couple of hidden gems in here. Corona is an absolute demon. We got him in our road to glory. If you missed the live stream, I will have a dedicated video up on all the players I'm going to be reviewing as well, such as I did for Barrios and Ronaldo, right? But look, I'm going to keep this as short and sweet as possible. I'm going to recommend there's maybe three or four players here that I definitely think are worth it. Um, for mid-game players, I would say Neuer, Kempembe are really good options if you're looking to plug a hole or to have a squad uh, upgrade in your bench or whatever. I would also say that Phillips, uh, Rinaldo, uh, Corona and Immobile, they're kind of mixed as well. Corona is probably the pick of them because he's a four star. And I also think that Phillips can do a really good job for you. If you've not settled on a DMF or you don't have an epic DMF as of yet, but um, we will get into it. We'll show you the training guys. We'll show you how I would train them up. Um, I mean, we can kind of discount Bellerin and Tomas and this guy as a left winger. Yes, they're pacey. Yes, they've got good skills. This guy is super sub, so he's not too bad, but they are a dime a dozen. You know, I wouldn't be wasting a five-star nominating contract on him. I wouldn't also be wasting a four-star on Hector Bellerin unless you're looking for pure pace at the back. Yes, he can go good aggression, but I don't think that he's really worth it, in my opinion. Um, Tomas is a good finisher as well as a deep line forward, but for me, I would say skip all of those. I mean, if they were, if these two guys were um, four stars, I would probably go for them. And Ronaldo as a five star is a little bit of a beast, um, but it does mean that you need to depend uh, decide then whether you want to go for him or Kempembe if you have an extra slot here for your nominating contract. So we'll get into those, right? But Corona, just before I move off onto him, we will have a little word for Diego Carlos as well. For all you Villa fans, very good player skills. His standard form is a little bit of a killer on this, but very good standard card, lads, if you're looking. It's a pity he only has 19 levels. So I would say that those four straight off the rip are not really worth, uh, you know, listen, you can get uh, any winger now, like Maximin or any of those Dembele, for quite cheap GP when doing the events, and they can, you know, be the same. You don't need to waste your nominating contract, right? That brings us on to Corona, Okay. I honestly think this guy is the real deal, lads. Anyone that watched my older, my first ever Dream Team Chronicle series, this was the main man that got me to Division 1. Corona was on the right flank, and Munayin from Bilbao was on the left flank. Absolutely brilliant players. And I think that this card is really good, right? We will have a look at the rest of his stats here, but he can actually play right back or right midfielder. So he's a perfect wing back. He's got early crosser. He's also got true pass and one touch pass, pinpoint crossing and double touch. And he's got a waiver in form. What's not to like? He's a four star, absolute beast. 100% get him for a four star, lads. I don't care what you say. He will not let you down. I guarantee you he won't let you down, right? Now, when we go over to eFootballDB, you will see that his standard card at 29 levels at level 77. This guy's got 24 levels at level 80, right? So there is a bit of a trade-off in it, but I'm going to be training him up specifically with this build. If you want me to do a specific build for him, let me know in the comments below because he is a very exciting player to use. I'm going to train him up for a lot of pace, a lot of agility, a lot of mobility to be able to play multiple positions. And mostly, I'm going to be using him as a kind of a crossing like a Grimaldo on the right flank that's how I'm going to be playing him right so defensively I don't really need to train that up too much we're getting the pass in we're using him as kind of a right mid um kind of hybrid with a crosser right if you are looking to play him as a right back I would leave the, the low pass and the lofted pass at 81 and 78 I would tone down the dribbling to um, about 78 each, uh, just one point into that, and then I would pop the rest in to defending, so that you get 77 defensive engagement. It's still nothing to really shout home about, and that's why I wouldn't really train him that way, because you don't need defending for your, you know, 3-5-2 wing backs. You're, you know, with the wing backs being like um, part of the five in midfield, okay? Um, but he definitely is worth it as a five uh, or as a four star, right? We also will take a look at Ronaldo. So this guy, Ronaldo, is a fantastic player, lads. I mean, his stats go crazy, and he is definitely one that I recommend as well, right? We'll give you two really quick fire builds for him because he is a left back. He has defensive full back, blocker, interception, fight, and spirit man marking and sliding tackle. He's also got early cross defensive build for him. I'm just going to go really hardcore with his pace, his power, his speed, everything like that as maxed out as we possibly can and it's going to be pretty much just about all about his defense 
a little bit of aerial strength as well to get that jump to 78 and that means that we can play him as part of a sub tactic and slot him in central if we're going playing him as a really really deep kind of um left back or else as a defensive fullback or else a center back right with the center back if you're playing him you can actually get by with 80 acceleration and i would also probably say 80 speed to have that stamina up and then i would probably boost up the rest of it um to get to that 97 defensive engagement mark and then i would probably pop on the rest onto his aerial ability there and then i would probably have as well a little bit on his jump you can get 88 jump with that and still be able to get a bit a bit there to his um to his acceleration like that card there lads that build is absolutely insane when you're looking at a five star these are the type of cards that i definitely think are worth it and this card is definitely broken this is a card that probably should be about level 28 um but because he's level 35 as a defensive fullback absolutely ridiculous card i mean look at the stats man 95 aggression this guy is kind of like alaba this is what he's going to play like very very similar to, to david alaba from real madrid um 88 jump 80 speed, 82 acceleration, and then the defensive stats are just absolutely crazy. If you were able to stick header on this guy, heading and acrobatic clearance and aerial superiority, he could be one of the best um, left-back defensive guys in, in, in the game. I might do a separate build on him because he's so kind of unique as well, but he is definitely a second pick. So Corona is number one, and then I would also say Rinaldo, Rinaldo, Rinaldo is, is, is number two, right? Um, they're definite picks if you have got the, the, the nominating contracts, right? That kind of brings us on to, we, we don't have any goalkeepers in this, but that brings us on to uh, Calvin Phillips, right, as an anchorman. Now, I know a lot of people are going to ask me about Phillips because you're putting him in with Casemiro, with Rodri, with Fabinho, and then obviously Declan Rice as that destroyer anchorman role, right? I would not spin for Phillips unless you haven't found a DMF that has like really done it for you, right? The best thing about this guy is the fact that, again, he has 35 levels, which gives you a load of variety. I mean, you can max out this uh, aggression pretty easily, right? You could go 99 with the aggression and have 92 tackle and 92 defensive engagement. You're not going to need to be that fast or as fast as you would if you're a box to box, um, but you can still get 70 acceleration and still get 70 in the speed with the 84 stamina. And then you can also pop four more onto jump. Like that's an extremely strong card that does have interception and one touch pass to get out of difficulty, but also fighting spirit. And when you compare him with his England card, who only had 26 levels, this is definitely a far superior version of that even though you don't have blocker on any of the cards which i think is a must for a blocker or for a dmf right um that is a really really solid card lads definitely a really solid card and i would say that if you're used to playing with declan rice this guy will play very similar to declan rice especially when the ball is on the ground with that 99 aggression he's going to be a mixture of like kante um zipping around the pitch just not as quick right so i'd say that he is probably worth it as well if you haven't settled on a dmf or you're looking to upgrade your squad right Bentan or this guy kind of falls into the trap of he's neither here nor there right so he's quite a decent player and he has got some new really unique stats and skills such as tight possession aggression and then the stamina that you don't need to train up too much let me know if you want a training guide on him i'm still a little bit torn on him i need to test out a few more things but i would say that as a box to box there are better than him out there right so let me know what you guys think of that and we will get to him in another video um, but I wouldn't recommend him. Um, so that's three. And then the next two I would recommend are Neuer and Kempembe. So they'd be the five to round it off. Neuer is a bit of a hit and miss, right? Kempembe, again, he's got low levels. He only goes to 19. I would say that Marquinhos' standard form is better than Kempembe. That's just my personal opinion. I think that Kempembe is an absolute boss in the game. But that, um, that form is a bit of a killer on him. Yes, you can go into the 90s very easily with the aggression. The defensive awareness and tackling are all going to get a boost. And of course, you can go with the jump um, fairly high as well if you want to go that route. Pace isn't that big as as big a concern as you would think it is and it's a fairly solid center back but i do think that marquinhos is better even his standard for marquinhos and this french pack was quite good as well with 22 levels to go it's a much better card so i would say that this is a bit of a miss unless you are really looking for kempembe he is a bit of a miss and then the same can be said about immobile right i just don't rate him lads i genuinely have tried to love him he does have some good stats he is a goal poacher i know that people do like him um and he's kind of a hit and miss for people people 
Um, but listen, I bang him in with collar. Doesn't mean you can't bang him in with this guy. I mean, he can go to 90 finishing very, very easily. He can also have that dexterity maxed out with 90 offensive awareness, balance at 79 and acceleration at 83. If he gets a chance in front of goal, he will bury it. Um, but I just feel like he's, again, a little bit more missed than hit, right? And then last but not least, we have Emmanuel Neuer, right? 36 years of age. He's a five-star nominating contract as well. Of course, we have low punt, long throw, which is nice. I will probably end up getting Neuer, lads. I already bought Corona my other profile. I probably will end up getting Neuer on this and doing a proper review on him to see his AI because I think the gameplay has changed in terms of the actual goalkeeper stats and what's important now anymore. Big killer for this card, lads, is the 14 levels. I don't know why they just didn't have um, the same as this one or this one with the 15 or 16. Um, that one had the 16 there, the first Byron pack that they released. And that would have made the card quite decent, even though this is a little bit less with three uh, reflexes. So you kind of do get the best version of him here with the reflexes. You can get that up to 90 quite easily. And then, of course, it's all going to be about the reach, the parrying and the catching. Um, with the gameplay has gone at the moment, the catching is going to be a little bit of an issue and the parrying is going to be an, a little bit of an issue. But he's a fairly decent card. I mean, if you don't have a solid goalkeeper, you could be doing a lot worse so um yeah that's pretty much it lads so there would be my recommendations i would probably recommend four i would recommend uh phillips um this guy is a left back defensive left back four star i would go with corona and then i would probably go with neuer just at a push right we don't know what other nominating contracts are going to be coming um but if you want if you're not 100 percent sure maybe hold maybe hold a little right so that is it for me lads i'll be back we'll have some gameplay footage of these guys that we're doing reviews of i have a review already worked on for corona this guy rinaldo rinaldo and I'll probably get Neuer and Phillips as well to test them out just for you guys. So across different profiles. So that is it for me. I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe. Peace.